What's up everyone? It's Jedi Jordan and today we've got June favorites and disappointments coming at you. So stay tuned. So I'm going to dig in right now and the first one that I'm going to grab is this stress relief body wash and this one actually has eucalyptus tangerine. I really like the tangerine added in there because I really like sweet fruity smells and this really does make a difference at the end of the day when you shower you're just trying to relax this really helps me relax so much and I just like that added fruity smell in there instead of just having the eucalyptus mints it actually works really well together and it's a decent sized bottle too now the next things are skincare which is these three items are in my routine right now I had a bad skin reaction right in the middle of my face and these really helped get my skin back to normal for a face wash I use the purity by philosophy and then I also use this aloe vera gel from nature's republic and this concentrate serum for La Mer each product is really good and really stretches across each uh, skin type whether you're oily dry normal I feel like purity is a really good just um, in between kind of cleanser for all skin types I think it will work perfectly and it's actually this stuff is distributed in Phoenix Arizona and I'm from Arizona and um, I've heard that purity products or actually philosophy products work really well with Arizona weather so that's something to consider um, but I really do like this and even both of these products I love La Mer to death and aloe vera is such a good skin product it has so many beneficial properties um, it's good for pimples, it's good for dry skin, but it doesn't overly moisturize or make your face so oily for oily skin either. It, I think it's really good for all products. I used it when I had my reaction, it really soothed my face and I still use it now for my pimples, but it doesn't make me oily whatsoever and it's very natural. The next product is makeup. I'm kind of going into makeup now and this is the Jeffree Star Mani MUA collab that came out a couple of months and they are restocking it by the way. I believe in August they are restocking it. So if you haven't gotten any of these, go get you some. It is such a good collab. I love them to death. I've already swatched it on my hand. It is right here. This beautiful color. I believe um, this is in I'm Shook and they um, you know Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks they're so pigmented. They're so lightweight. I've talked about them many times on my channel. They're one of the best liquid lipsticks. Go try them. Um, yes I do like Jeffree Star, um, but this is the Beauty Killer palette, his first palette. I've had this for a while, I've talked about this before. Um, I've just recently picked it up again. I haven't gotten his recent palette, so I've been really been playing with this original one. And honestly, when you first look at it, um, my first impression was I really can't do everyday looks out of these, but it really just took my crea creative juices to flow to really figure out that this can create so many looks. I created like a look, a different look every single day when I use this and it is so wearable. Like even if you're like the blue kind of scares me a bit like I'm not like I don't really think blue eyeshadow works on me but even just canceling that one out like I just create so many looks with these eyeshadows I love confession I love violence princess is such a good um, brow bone highlight I think it's so so cute and this is my finger right so like this, these are how, how big the pans are, which is so amazing. The next favorite is the Aurora Glow Kit. And 
they just started putting these out at Ulta and Sephora so I grabbed one and these are what the shades look like this one is a such glowy amazing brow bone highlight I use this almost every day under my brow and I have also used all the other shades for my cheeks they are super pigmented and super colorful and versatile and honestly I would probably use these year round the last favorite has come to an end already for June and it is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Now, I have talked about on my Instagram how much I love the foundation, so I really wanted to try the powder. And it just lives up to the Photo Focus name. It really just helps my makeup come together better than before and I feel like it helps the longevity and if for those of you wondering I am in the shade warm beige the only thing about this is that they do have less shades I want to say I want to say maybe they even have like four so I chose this one but this one still works for me pretty well um, so if you're really dark or really light then Maybe you won't find your color. I think Wet n Wild needs to work on that. All right, so on to my disappointments. And the first one is a skincare product. And how I mentioned earlier, I've had some kind of skin reaction. And this is the product that caused it. This was the only new thing in my routine. And ever since I stopped using it, I used it once. It... It started reacting in the middle of my face I stopped using it and went away and then I used it again it came back so I'm pretty sure it is this cream it is by the body shop and it is the vitamin E moisture cream I got it at Ulta um, I, I don't know I would say I have very sensitive skin and I'm just thinking that maybe I'm allergic to vitamin E. I know every everybody's skin is different. This didn't work for me, but just because I had a reaction doesn't mean that you will. This may be like the best product you ever had. I really don't know. Um, but if you do want to try something like this or any, even any moisturizer or any skincare product, I would really just do a test patch on your skin and see how it feels. Um... But yeah, I will not be using this. I do love the Body Shop, though. I love their Tea Tree line. And they have some really good products, but this one just didn't work for me. The final disappointment of the month was this Flower Beauty Mattifying Primer. Um, so looking at this box, it look how big this is, right? This is compared to my face. This is a pretty big box um open up the box right and you're like oh wow look this is such a cool unique shape this is such a huge packaging like look look at it compared to airspun right like it's such a huge package open it up wow like look how huge this cap is okay so most of the hugeness of it was in the cap. All right, well let's remove this sponge. This is my thought process, by the way. I'm not, this is, so remove the sponge. This is how I am. First time trying it. Okay, I really need my camera to focus on this right now. Okay, so look how deep it is. It's about my entire fingernail deep. This, the, really uh drew barrymore like this this length this top length right here half of it is product only half of it compared to airspun airspun is less than ten dollars i'm not sure how much the price is but look how much powder that you get and you get half of this length you get half of this like okay Flower Beauty, Flower Beauty is owned by Drew Barrymore. I really want to say, Drew Barrymore, you'll never watch this, but please step your game up with this powder. Honestly, the powder isn't the problem. It's really not the product that's the problem. It works 
decently well. It was $10, but I expect if I see a huge, huge container like this, I should expect to get a good amount of product. But I paid $10 just to have like an inch deep of product and that is just completely disappointing considering that most of this was just packaging like that is completely upsetting just doing that um it just really aggravates me when they really just get you like cute packaging and all but i really just want more product <sighs> rant over so those were all of my favorites and disappointments for the month um talk to me comment down below what are your favorites what didn't you not like this month what don't you recommend to me um make sure you like this video so i know to do more favorites videos it's been a while since i've done one i want to say it was last year i don't know let me know if you like them and you want to see more of them so i know what to create for you guys and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss those videos but i hope to see you guys next time and may the force be with you bye